Good morning. Today is uh, the 21st of May and this is part four of a slightly shambolic shuffle around the Retro Rides Weekender 2022 at the uh, Goodwood Motor Circuit near Chichester in West Sussex. We've uh, done quite a few of these so far. We're, as I said, now on part four and we will try not to fall over, uh, get interrupted by announcements or uh, you know, get things wrong, but I can't guarantee that um, we'll be able to uphold that standard. 1997, 1998 Honda Civic uh, EJ or EK hatch. This one looks like a VTI if it's got a VTEC engine in it, although someone's removed the badge at some point in this car's life, so who knows? Interesting sort of skateboard in the back of here. Any Civic hatch of this type is now worth an awful lot of money. You can't pick them up for no budget reviews money anymore. Not even for this 1997-1998 uh, Civic 1.4 Tornado. It's probably not got the, the 89 horsepower 1.4 D series in any more viewers if it's got a sort of roll cage and things like that in it. So um, who knows what uh, power output that has now. SW20 MR2. Is this a Japanese domestic market one? Yes, midship runabout it says on there. This is a quite an early Mark II um, MR2, presumably owned by a gentleman called Lewis Hall. Uh, aftermarket steering wheel and gear lever and a nice sort of Android uh, head unit in there I think. But it's Rev 1 I think they call them these early ones. Ah oh, yes, now this is, this is good. 1990 to 1991 Volvo 240 GL. Those wheels are actually off a GLT. My mother had a 1989 240 GL estate from 1990 until 2001, so I know these very well. Exactly the same uh, in terms of the dash, although I think someone's put a different type of ventilation system in the bottom row there. Everything else is the same though. Um, Obviously, <laughs> someone's put a different radio on it for me, the normal cassette player. Uh, but yes, this one originally would have the catalytic converter in it as well, with Lander Son. My mother's car had the catalytic converter in it, it caused no end of problems actually. It broke down within six months of us owning it. W201 Mercedes Benz 190. Uh, this is the later type with the sort of just side cladding. Personal plate though, so I, other than that, I have no real idea. but. I have actually filmed one of these on my channel. It was a, the car that's owned by Simon from Lot 76 Cars. Um, his is, an, I think, a 1990, his one, on a G. Another one of these Mark 1 Golf Sibs. This is a five-door. Again, more Porsche wheels on this. Why is it that Volkswagen's always carry Porsche wheels, views? This is a yeah, pre-facelift, or late pre-facelift. Face of came I think in 1980 when they launched the Jetta. It's an L, but who knows what ended in that now. NB MX5, an early one, 97 to 98. I think actually they came out in 98, so very early one then. I have done an NB MX5 on the channel viewers on True Jacket Reviews back in November 2019. I probably won't be able to uh, link to that in the description below because I probably will forget because I've been doing a lot of shambolic shuffling already today. Another Amazon here. There we go. Not standard gear lever. Maybe a bit easier to change like that. Um, G registration. So, if that's the real plate of the car, uh, 68, 69 registration. The Amazons were made, I think, until 1970. I don't know exactly what type this is because the, the badge would be on the wing has been sort of removed. W202 Mercedes C200 here. Uh, with some very snazzy wheels on it. It was the Elegance, top of the range one. I have done two of these on the channel, actually, viewers. Uh, most recently, a car that used to belong to Amber from Driven 24-7. And that was very nice, actually. A very late one here. It's a classic selection, which is a special edition. Metro Rio here, with the 1.8 VVC K series from release in it, which is a straight swap into one of these. Although, I think originally, this Rio would have actually had have a 1.1 in it with a four-speed gearbox. In fact, it still has a four-speed gear lever in it, even if the gearbox, I don't know, maybe it's been changed, maybe it hasn't, I don't know. From Cowie and Epsom. 
Yes, so 1994-95 registration. 2001 Toyota Yaris T Sport. I've actually driven one of these cars. It was on uh, No Budget Reviews back in uh, 2020 when these cars weren't worth like hill, an absolute hill of money. Um, the main problem for me was the gear lever and the driving position, which were a bit weird, but pretty nippy and everything like that. Again, I'm not going to link to it, you'll just have to find it yourselves, I'm afraid. I do apologise. So this is a Rover 100, but it's wearing the front end from a Mark 1 MG Metro. So 1996-7 registration, but you can presumably, just, just demonstrated here, drop the front end of one of, the, of, one of these and the, the rear end onto a Rover 100. Um, because it's actually got the... That's the Rover 100 dash in there, so you, you can actually tell that, and the mirrors and all sorts of things. Another Saab here. We do like Saabs on this channel viewers, although I haven't driven a lot of them. Approximately about sort of 92, 93 Saab 9000 Aero, although that's a personal plate, so I could be completely wrong. And yes, hmm. Yes, yes, that's more like it. X300 Jaguar XJ with a beige leather interior. I do like a nice beige leather interior for us. This one looks like a sport actually, yes, because it's, it's been de-chromed on the, on the side, so it'll be a sport, 95, 93 filtration. I have done one of those on Central Second Hand Classics. It wasn't a, it wasn't a, um, it wasn't a sport, it was a different model, but nevertheless, that is very tasty for us. 1979 to 80 MG Midget, one of the last ones, rubber bumper with the uh, square arch. I think production finished in December 79, so quite a late one of those. 1990 uh, 90 to 91, Ford Fiesta Mark III. Those wheels, I think, are off of an XR2. Just a four speed gearbox, so this will be a, something like a Popular Plus or something like that. Yes, it's a 1.1 Popular Plus because it's got a rear wiper. If you had a Popular, then you only got. Well, nothing on the right. <laughs> Didn't get a rear wiper, I don't think. BW Z3, uh, quite an early one. Uh, 1997 to 1998 registration. I have done one of these, actually, on Sensible Second Hand Classics that belonged to Mr. James Martin from the JM on Cars channel. Um, he's very kindly let me have a go in that. But next to it, oh, <laughs> yes, please. Very, very late Jaguar XJS. Um, production finished in 1996, so it's 90... 1995 96 registration, beige leather interior, one over 22 years, and as Mr. Bill from the Fuel Power says, this could be yours. And yes, we admire the beige leather interior with wood. Mm. This is the four litre uh, straight six in this, and viewers, I'm very, very, very tempted, although I don't think I can afford it. 1986 or 87 Ford Capri to 2 litre. This will be a laser. Um, even though it's not got laser bits on it because at that point in production only the laser was actually actually left of the two litres. Uh, it's production finished December 86 but this would have been made a little bit before that so um, I don't know whether that's 86 or 87 it could be either because the last Capri in this country is registered actually in 1989. Right let's move along to the next area. This is a Japanese domestic market thing. I think this is a Toyota, but I actually don't know. Let's take a look. Maybe it will give me some idea of what this is. Uh, yes, it's Toyota. Toyota Mark II. So I've heard of those, but I'm not familiar with generation of them at all. Um, 2004. Yes. Uh, sure, many of you know more about it than I do. Uh, we have here a uh, Toyota Sora. Don't. I think we ever got these in this country. Also, badge the Lexus in some places. Basically, the uh, LS400 Coupe. This one apparently is a 2.5 GTT. Interesting. Uh, 1997 to eight, I did registration, and oh, it's got a beige leather interior with a little monkey on it. I'm not surprised he's happy. He's got a beige leather interior. Uh, Volkswagen Bay Window. 1970 what 
Oh, right, so it's not, it's not this one that's for sale, it's a different one. 1977 78 registration. That comma is for sale in Suffolk. Uh, well, that comma could be yours, I suppose, not this one. Ah, another BWE 30, of course there is. Uh, there's so many of these here today. Uh, E30 Touring, F registration, 1988 to 89. Not quite a base ever interior, but close. Good close viewers. Probably in this one's on like a 35, but I don't know. Freude am Fahren. Yes, joy in driving. Very good. 1990 to 1991, Mercedes Benz W124 230E. I hope the 200 was the base model, so it's just one up from the base. Beige interior, but not a leather one, I'm afraid. Um, unfortunately, not. That's a, that's a bit of a problem, but never mind. 1993 to 1994, BMW E36 M3. A nice motorsport rear spoiler. 1988 to 1989 Ford Fiesta XR2, the second one we've seen here today, actually. And this looks really, really standard. That's beautiful condition. No longer can, is it the case that you can pick one of these up for no budget reviews money. Not at all. Nineteen. 75 to 76 BMW E12 5 Series. It's got sort of motorsport bits on it, but the M5 didn't exist at this time, so let's see what it says in the back. Yeah, just 530 with motorsport inspired bits on it. 1997 1998 BMW 328i E36. Is that a base leather interior? Well, in that case, we very much like that. It's very nice. Okay, thank you. E30 BMW 3 Series. The gear leave looks like it's a Mazda. How strange. Oh, right. Nissan engine. Never imagined that someone would want to put that into, into a BMW, but there we go. What's this? An F, so 88, 89. Dodge Royal Lancer. I imagine this is around 1960. I don't know exactly. But it's, it's crazy. You know, you sort of park next to sort of popular classic BMWs and then you find something like this. Crazy event. Also, it's crazy how I missed this Mini Clubman. 1972-73 Mini Clubman, not very standard views, but we do have rear wiper. Now that was an official accessory that you could actually get on minis, but you had to pay for it. It's very retro indeed. More imps and uh, imp derivatives. Hillman Imp Californian Coupe. Which is kind of funny. One of the uh, later ones by the badge again I keep seeing this car and I don't know what year it is because it doesn't say 1965 Hillman Imp I think particularly because it's got the uh, extra confusing stalks in it to be a Mark II then in that case if it's got those ooh the Marcos Nineteen ninety-five to nineteen ninety-six. This is a Mantara or something like that, and uh, it's got a beige leather interior. Very nice. Now it's an L M four hundred stroke five hundred V eight. Limited production of thirty-five cars. Ooh, Mark II facelift. Volkswagen Polo GT, but somebody's put yes Honda B Series VTEC. I think that is. Or the modification, because that will turn the other way around from um, the original Volkswagen engine. This is a 1.3, I think, originally on the GT. Bread van shape, of course. I have got a review of a, a G40 Coupe on the channel. I think it was a, a 1992, the one I filmed, the G40. Very, very fast and very race to suspension, very cramped. BMW 2002 Bauer convertible. I don't know what year this is because that's a Northern Irish plate on that, so I don't, I don't, no idea. 
Another one of the OT BMWs here. Uh, that's a 71, 72 registration. I like this colour, very typical BMW colour of the period. Yeah, again a 2002. Another 2002 here, 70, uh, 71 registration. Very nice colour. It's a five speed gearbox in that, so that's been actually fitted later, I should think. Ooh. Another one of these O2s. Historic plates from Germany. I mean, I suppose someone could have driven this from Germany. Some people do that kind of thing. Alpina steering wheel. <laughs> M2. Now, it didn't exist for quite some time, so yes, probably a 2002 in that case. Someone's left window open, so we could have a look at the uh, look at the interior. This enormous steering wheel. Where are the heating and ventilation controls for this? Oh, they're sort of scattered around. I see. Oh, now that is beautiful, viewers. Beautiful. 1994 to 1994. 1974-75, sorry, I can't get my words out properly today. 1974-75, BMW 3 litre CS. That is rather nice. As is this uh, 6 Series here. Yes, in the shade. And oh, 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 another beige leather interior. Mmm, I do like a nice beige leather interior. Particularly in a... Lovely old 6 Series like this, probably a 635 CSI, something like that. Not entirely sure, um, could be something else, no badge on that one. Ooh, this is very rare, that's not an Healy Sprite, isn't it? This isn't even an Midget, this is the Sprite. Now the Sprite came first because the Frog Eye Sprite came out in 58 and the Mark II was based, I think, largely on the same chassis, but of course, different bodywork with things like an opening boot and, you know, kind of... Um, it's sort of more conventional front end and that sort of stuff. This is similar in age to uh, the uh, midget that I drove on Central Park Line Classics last year on an F. That was a 68. That might be a 67, but it could be a 68. Oh, <laughs> something that I've just actually filmed on the channel. This is a 1997-1998 Fiat Coupe 20, 20 valve turbo in sprint blue. It's also got the same biscuit interior that one I filmed had. Well, one one I drove actually had, I think, 40,000 miles on the clock, and I had one one I from new. There were various bits you could get fitted to them, and this car is just sort of standard. It hasn't got sort of big body kits and things on it. Another, a Spritit as they're called, Sprite Magic, that's very similar. Uh, this one, round arch, 7273 registration. I prefer the ones with synchro mesh on bottom gear views, as that's my personal preference, and they're a bit easier to drive like that. 1978-79 Ford Escort Mark II RS2000, in the same colour as the one used in the Professionals, although this is a slightly later one, uh, because that had um, the uh, Ford lettering on the front, this probably got the Ford badge. The one um, using Professionals also had a sunroof fitted to make filming a little bit easier. Uh, this hasn't got one. 1978-79 Ford Capri Mark III with a wide body kit on it, this one. That's interesting. I wonder what specification this says. I don't know. I don't know, viewers. Someone's put a leather interior in it, though. And is it a beige one? No, it's just something which said out of the... Of a later one, the injection special interior. Another ski nose Passat. Passat GL, quite an early one. Uh, 1989 to 90 registration. Again, you just don't see those anymore, do you? Ooh, Nissan Almira GTI. It looks like in the old uh, rip off Sweeney advert and Professionals advert that was on the television at the time. 1997, 1998. All action Almira GTI. Excellent. They never actually used one of those in the in the series, just in the advert for it. NAMX5, or this is a UNOS because of the uh, number plate plinth on the back. Uh, that's 1994 to 1995 registration. What have we got up here? Is that a Triumph Toledo views? 
Yes, it is. Most of these were two door on this country, but there was a four door version available. Um, this one, 1975, it's uh, by that information sheet. My parents actually had a Toledo, so short back in comparison with the Dolomite, um, but similar shell and just 1.3 engine in those. 1973 Ford LTD. Don't know if this actually lives here or not, but it's parked up here anyway. The LTD Brome. 1964 Ford Control Land Rover. Another Ford Control one there. XC, now that was often used for um, Land Rover press vehicles back in the day, 6089 registration. Goodwood's own little tow truck, I think this is probably used at Revival and things. Pre-suffix registration actually on that, uh, so I don't know what year that is actually. It might be a Series 2 or a Series 2A, not sure. BMW 8 series, not entirely sure what year that is because of the um, uh, personal plate on it. Just looks like a purple colour. Toyota Athlete, 1999 registration. I don't know, all I know is it's got those sort of doily things on it. Yeah, someone's very sensibly brought lots of water with them to drink today. Yeah. 1989 to yeah, 90, Ford Sierra, Ford Sierra RS Cosworth, this is a Sapphire Cosworth, I think this is a, a two-wheel drive one, that's rather nice, big exhaust of course. 1990 to 1991, Mitsubishi Shogun Mark 1 V6, wow. I have not seen one of these viewers in a very, very long time. This one's an auto. There was a manual available, of course, as well. This is something you just don't see anymore. Let's go through here and see whatever delights on the other side of the hedge. Mm, quite a lot of them. Ooh, a Walsley. 1968-69, Walsley 1660. Based on the same platform as many other of what's called the BMC Farina cars, principally the Austin Cambridge and the Morris Oxford were the same most common models. You don't get a rev counter in a Walsh, so I think you only got one in a Riley, Riley 472 at this time. The smaller fins on this one in comparison with the earlier cars. Another one of these BMW uh, 2002s, again, this sort of rather fetching orange colour, which very much suits these cars actually. Nineteen eighty-four to eighty-five Porsche nine four four. If that plate is uh, correct, it's a personal plate, so it could be from a different year. Oh, that BX we're going to have to skip over because, of course, we don't talk about diesels on this channel, viewers. Nineteen eighty-one to eighty-two Mini, um, some Golf livery. That's uh, entertaining isn't it quite heavily modified from what it would have been standard although that badge and grill I think are correct Triumph Herald 1360 quite a late one before production 71 and this is a 70 to 71 registration Nineteen ninety nine ninety one mini with a beige leather interior Mm. That's, uh, that's a nice interior view. Is that one? It's probably in for a repaint or something at some stage. Ooh. Mm, viewers. 1973 to 1974 MGB GT V8. And we're doing classic cars. Very much so. 1978 79 Ford Escort Mark II. Um, RS steering wheel, I think that's off a Sierra Cosworth that steering wheel and a 16 valve ZTEC engine conversion. It's a bit faster than probably the uh, 10 tender might have been that. 
Mm, Mercedes Benz 124 Cabrio with a beige leather interior and wood. Very nice. Let's see what derivative this is. Well, this stage they were the E class. Yeah, the E320. So six cylinder in that. Um, quite a late one. 1995 96. I believe this is a TVR Tuscan. It's 2000 plate on this. Similar to the one used, I think, in Swordfish, although that was a uh, an open top one. Oh, yeah, Tuscan. I don't know why. They never explain why the TVR in Swordfish is right-hand drive and on Blackpool plates. It's very strange. Anyway, E36 BMW 3 Series Touring. Uh, again, personal plates, so I don't know what year this is or what engine's in that, but steering wheel's interesting, isn't it? It's not the standard one. 1985 to 86 Nissan Skyline. Yes, Skyline, R31. Um, <laughs> the Skylines weren't just the coupes. They did make saloons and they did make estates as well. Um, obviously not for our consumption. We didn't get any Skylines over here for quite some time, actually. So, uh, you know, there we go. Ooh, that's interesting. Try not to fall over anybody here. It's early 60s uh, Chevy. What model is this? It's an... Oh, Camino, just a pickup. Wow. That's pretty special, isn't it? Just, I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Uh, sorry, it's a 59, I do apologise. Uh, 1999 to 2000 uh, S14 Nissan Silvia. I think that's what it is anyway. Certainly, certainly uh, Yakushi Show, who is the Instagram user who owns this car, presumably will tell you more than I can. 1989 to 90, Lancia Delta HF Turbo. Not an Integrale yet, so those came a little bit later. Um, right hand drive as well, so again, again, give away, it's not an Integrale, but very, very nice. That is very, very beautiful. BMW 2000 CS. I think those are old Dutch plates from what I remember. Maybe this is based in Netherlands, this car, so I don't think I've ever, ever seen one of these before. Look at that front end. That's where they got the inspiration from the RX1, wasn't it? From <laughs> that. So it's not uh, entirely original. 1968 to 69, Volkswagen, I think it's Type 3, these are called actually. Type 3 from, from the memory. Still with the engine in the back. Ooh, Nissan PAL. There we go. Nissan PAL. Not a B1, a PAL. Based on the K10 micro chassis, along with the, uh, the, the Figaro. Made around 80, 80, 80, 89, 90, something like that. It's amazing what variation they got off this, uh, this K10 micro platform, isn't it? Ooh, and here's an early Audi. They made various uh, versions of this. This is the Super 90, this is the top of the range Audi. It was an inherited DKW design, um, but obviously without the air-cooled engines, with water-cooled engines. So 1967, 68 registration. There's one of these actually in after the Avengers called Stay Tuned. Very rare car in Britain at the time. And this is a right-hand drive one. So that's an extraordinary find, really. Interesting. Uh, another one of these, uh, I think a B2 Audi 80s, pre-facelift. So there's the um, original plate. So it's uh, 1983 to 84 registration. I don't think that's legal, um, viewers, so to take on the road like that. Those market, those rear lights, I think, are American spec ones, and the louvre is very, very period. I'm sure somebody will put some legal plates on it before they leave. Datsun 200L, 1976, 77, sorry, 1976, 77 registration. Yes, I was right the first time. Uh, I'm like so many times on these videos, viewers. I did do a Datsun 260C, uh, 260Z on my channel, actually, at the end of last year. Um, but I don't think I've ever tried one of these. 
Honda Prelude 1990 one to 92 registration quite a late one of these uh, you can't put a newer plate on an older car so um, I imagine actually that personal plate is quite accurate um, again with these sort of crazy wheels that so many people seem to fit to uh, these sorts of cars these days and it's got four wheel steering excellent ears that's what we like to see anyway we'll uh, take a break here then we'll move on to part five thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching this uh, slightly shambolic shuffle around the 2022 retro rides weekender and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like this video leave a comment below and i'll try not to fall over or get anything else wrong although i can't guarantee that for the next part